We're going to turn now to our next guest, who is teaching people how to take control and shift their life in order to find their true identity. All right. His identity includes being a mm -hmm. former NFL player, an American ninja warrior, and now a best-selling author. It is Identity Shift, Upgrade How, to, how You Operate to elevate your life. And let's welcome the young fellow right now, international speaker Anthony Trucks, here to tell us all about it. My man, how are you doing? We talk about an identity shift, and you yeah. have had a heck of a shift almost your whole life. And you get introduced oftentimes as a former NFL player. But that is really not the whole story. So give people a little background from your childhood. And again, we don't have time for it all, but, <laughs> but the yeah. steps that got you to what seems like this ultimate success of an NFL player, and then things went sideways. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's life. life. NFL's funny. It's what's you know, it tends for not for long. It's kind of like the, <laughs> the going joke, but but no, I uh, I was given away in a foster care at a young age, and I, I endured some pretty dark bottoms, and uh, and yeah, I went through you know just a lot of turmoils. Adopted to an all white, very poor family growing up, and beat the odds, made to the NFL, and everything's supposed to be great, and then you find out that life continues after the game, and I had a massive like uh, just downturn of life. I was at one point suicidal, divorced, not a good dad, and made some interesting shifts in life that we all kind of make we make them kind of accidentally but for the first time did it on on purpose intentionally and found that it was an amazing thing that uh, that if i could understand my identity and how i showed up i could control more outcomes and at least myself in the middle of craziness uh, and, you, and, and you touched on this uh, during this pandemic a lot of people have found themselves maybe not in that exact situation but in a similar one so can you give our viewers who feel lost some tips on how to pull themselves back up and, and get back on the right path yeah yeah because i yeah it's crazy because I, I did i lost my entire marriage and then we got remarried for three years and so that was one of the big catalyst moments and then it pushes into a great direction of a great marriage but there are three specific steps that actually in the, the book that that i teach daily and first step is called c uh, I believe that we are in a space we're trying to figure out who we are and a lot of us don't see what needs to be done and I, I'd say all the time it is hard to see the label when you're inside the jar so we don't see what our, our true hindrances and our blind spots are the next parts to shift which simply means do the work and a lot of us we will step into some spaces and kind of do work but not the work or we won't have trust in it and so what happens is we don't actually get to the point of having success and i tell people all the time action ends suffering so if i don't do that shift work by taking action i fall short the last piece of it is you have to sustain it for a long period of time. Usually a lot of people try something, they dabble, and then all of a sudden it got too hard and they stop doing it and all of a sudden wonder why things aren't panning out. But the reality is if you can stay in that pocket for a while, you actually get to the point of waking up one day and going, wow, I'm a completely different person living a completely different life. And fall in love with the, with the day, not the destination. Again, fall in love with the yeah. day, not the destination. You teach that. What do you, what do mm -hmm. you mean by that? Man, it's, a, it's, it's seriously how I live my entire life. And I think, man, if more people could do this, it'd be great. Because we always wake up with a, a goal in mind, some place I want to go. But the problem is, is we're thinking about that. We're only presently aware of how far we haven't yet made it. And so when I do that, I'm met with this emotion of, you know, pretty much disdain if I haven't got there yet. But if you can fall in love with the day, the actions that will bring you there and find joy within those, then all of a sudden your experience of life itself is way more enjoyable because you know, may not ever like everything, but if you find things that you don't like and find joy within them, well, now you do them. And what happens is those destinations come faster with more ease and more joy. And you start seeing that life isn't this crazy thing that I have to battle against, but it's actually something you can embrace thoroughly enjoy and then all the destinations come faster and more frequently. Anthony, you've made this big transformation. It's so inspirational to see how you've turned your life around. But just for people, um, I think, who are in the work or doing the work, it's not easy every day, though. I mean, I'm imagining no. you still have to work at it. Uh, it's not something that you just fix and you're like, voila, here I am, I've arrived. This is something you have to practice each and every day, yes? Every day. And the thing is, we're already doing work. I think as humans, we're happiest in motion. There's, there's things where we like we are built to be doing things. And it is hard work. But the reality is, is it's not always supposed to be drudgery. If you can find something that may be unique to you, because I think we sometimes borrow other people's ideas. Like some people are like, I'm going to buy shoes because my friend runs. And then you go run. You're like, I hate running. Right? So <laughs> maybe you should go hike. And maybe you should go ride a, you know, a bike. Maybe you should go get a rowing machine. But you have to find things that you like to do that are in line with where you want to be later in life and be okay doing that and not worrying about what other people think of it. So mm -hmm. just do what you want to do. Find joy in a thing that will get you there, and you'll find that it's, it's way easier that way, in fact, also. I just quit running. 
Uh, Anthony, did, you hit on something here. This one here, robot has me running with purpose. I always run for exercise, but in all certain, I say that all the time. I hate running, and she has me running, and I know it's good for me and all that, but you just, you just hit a... You hit a hot button issue there for us. Uh, <laughs> right. no, don't do nothing. You've got to do something. Do be something. active. Just maybe a different way of being active. You, brother, I hope we can have you back. And, and yeah. if folks don't, we weren't able to get into your full backstory. But I encourage folks to look up Anthony Trucks and to read about your story. You have made it through some storms, my man. And you are still here. So mm -hmm. congrats to that. And thanks for being here with us. Thank you. Thank you. And folks, you can get Identity Shift Upgrade, how you operate to elevate your life wherever books are sold. Doesn't he have a great voice, too? Yeah. Like, I could listen to him talk all day long. And he's got the great setup yeah. with the mic, and he's got the right the mood and the neon light. It's perfect. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.